The Boeing 747-400 was being operated by Qantas on a scheduled flight from Singapore. Shortly before the flight crew began their descent from cruise altitude at 18.57 local time, they reviewed the latest routine weather report for Sydney. Issued at 18.30, the METAR indicated that the surface winds were from 0.3 degrees at 17 knots and that there were thunderstorms 18 nautical miles southwest of the airport moving east-northeast at 15 knots. As the 747 neared Sydney, the aerodrome traffic controllers received several wind shear reports. The 747 crew was on an approach control frequency and did not receive the new ATIS information with the wind shear. The aircraft was about three nautical miles from the runway at 1922. The crew told Control West that they were on final approach to runway 16 right. Control advised the crew that the wind at the landing threshold was 180 degrees at 22 knots, issued a clearance to land and requested a wind readout. The crew reported that the wind at 1,000 feet was a 20-knot tailwind. The co-pilot disengaged the autopilot and autothrottles at 780 feet and asked the pilot in command for continuous callouts of wind data. The pilot in command's callouts indicated that the wind changed from a tailwind to a 15 knot headwind at 500 feet and to an increasing right crosswind at 120 feet. The approach had been stable until the 747 encountered overshoot wind shear followed by undershoot wind shear. Recorded flight data indicated that calibrated airspeed increased from 146 knots to 159 knots at 120 feet and then decreased at a steady rate during the next six seconds to 131 knots on touchdown. Reference landing speed was 144 knots. The report said that the crew could not have avoided the hard landing. The recorded sink rate was 820 feet per minute and vertical acceleration was 2.34 g when the main gear contacted the runway. The pilot in command's decision to go around was appropriate and in accordance with company procedure.